Well, hi scholars. Welcome to this week's project. We're going to have some fun being kind of free and creative. We're going to work with line, okay? So I'm just going to do a quick demo on how to do what I call a line adventure. You're going to draw many lines, color them in, and actually this is more of what we call abstract, where you get to do anything. So have fun doing lines, and let's see what you guys have for me. I can't wait to see your work. Okay, so we're going to do some lines. I'm going to use a marker just so that it shows up, but you can use a pencil or whatever. I just want to give you a, just a, a general idea of what kind of lines I want you to do. So I'm just going to start with a straight line. Pretty simple. Now I'm going to do wavies. And I can go in any direction. It's more fun if you go in different directions. So I'm going to do kind of zigzaggy in one direction. Maybe I'll do giant waves. Maybe I'll do more regular lines and just make them different sizes. Make them fun. Um, maybe I'll do lines that go up and down like V's and then lines that go sideways okay what other lines can I make big V's so there so I made a whole bunch of different kinds of lines ziggy lines zaggy lines curvy lines all right class so I went ahead and colored in my line drawing and um, I added all kinds of colors, all kinds of colors. And then I went back and with a black marker, I made more lines so that you can actually see it because this is all about the lines, okay? So I want to show you just some few techniques that work really well with color. So I used everything from markers to crayons and even watercolor paints. I used everything. So I want to just share with you some fun techniques that you can use. If you take a marker, and let's say I have a circle and I'm coloring in the whole circle with the marker, this is just so that you can do something fun and creative. I can take a spray bottle of water and put a few drops on there and if I take the marker again I can pull out some of that paint and create a really fun light so the marker looks like watercolors now if I take some if I add, this is all with water. I add some water just in an empty spot here. Then I go ahead and add a really cool color. So I'm going to add green. And do you see how it, it, we call this, it bleeds. It's spreading out over the paper. And it makes a fun color. So that's how I got some of these colors to bleed and create a really nice effect. So again, I can take a marker and you see how pretty it bleeds inside inside that water. Let me see if I can zoom in and make you and you can see it. So again, I sprayed water and I can take a marker and just make squiggly lines and I love to see them spread out and just really have fun with it. So enjoy working with some markers, enjoy working with water and if you're using regular paper be careful not to get too much water on the paper because then you'll start to go through the paper so then once I let this dry, which is what I did here, then I go back with a black marker 
and add all my lines on top of all the bleeding colors. So those are just a few little bit of techniques that really make painting and drawing really fun.